Number one DVD in the world. Best cameraman in the world behind it. Y'all gonna see a lot of talent. And Delaware don't work together. You must never been to a Delaware most born. Great show. It was good. West side, man. Some say the best side. Like, you know, I'm a Delaware nigga, man. I love every side, man. I go on every side, man. West side, east side, north side, south bridge, riverside, country ass. I can go anywhere around the city. Heck, about minutes. Gang. Okay. 2016, man. This is the hood right here, yo. He painted that. Like, he painted that whole jump. 2016, man, shout out to homie, man. Oh, man, it's, I noticed that they really, they put they all into their paintings as in like, um, for me, like watching them and knowing some of them, they really tell us, they tell a story in it. They don't just paint like, oh shit, I'm gonna just make a painting and see if I can make it. Nah, they ain't even looking at it as making money. They want you to look at that painting like, yo, this is who I am. You feel what I'm saying? And this is what I do. So like in these Wilmington streets, man, everybody trying to be the best at what they do. And if we all work together, it's a different story, man. I'm telling you. Fuck. Not even two parks no more. Two courts right there. It's one. My center city starting to look a little different. I've been out here for a minute, man. I would, uh, I would have more programs of teaching, man. Like, these kids, they already doing too much. A lot of them playing basketball. A lot of them is in the streets. A lot of them is, you know, doing anything possible to get some money. But a lot of them don't know, don't know nothing. I mean, a lot of them don't know shit. They just be out here just doing anything. A lot of them don't know shit. I mean, but we out here, and this is what's going on. Wilmington Streets, this is West Center City. You don't know. We be building that shit. That shit look totally different from when I was going there. I ain't been in that motherfucker in a minute. I was gonna walk over there, but they got that shit all gated out like we was going to fucking jail. What you, what you used to do there? I used to play basketball, man. I was a star too. Oh, it was like a, uh, a kid center. Yeah, it ain't like a boys and girls club. It's like a, it's more like a uh, community center for the community. It's, it's more, it's kind of more different. Man. You gotta get checked. You gotta get checked when you go in there and everything. Now, before you used to just get it, just go in. But it's so dangerous out here. They checking these kids like crazy right now. These kids are going there with thirties on. Them. You feel what I'm saying? These kids ain't playing no games out here. It ain't sweet out here. People think it's sweet in Wilmington. It ain't snowing that shit. I don't, I don't condone it. Everybody know how move, move, move minutes, right? Trying to get somebody rich overnight. Where I come from, real shit. And I'm an artist myself. But people know I, I don't even move like that. I move kind of like a fucking CEO out this jump. I'm out here at A&R and shit. Trying to get these youngies signed somehow, some way. Biggest showcase in the city. Hands down, dog. Every showcase I brought people out. And I brought and I brought like everybody in one spot. Ain't no can nobody do that. I don't care who you is, you can't bring everybody in one spot like me and nothing happen. That's a fact. I'm really not even looking for no attention. I just want these niggas to look at themselves and realize this shit is real out here, dog. You either want it or you're in the fucking way. Malik, what's going on, baby? What's up, yo? What's my up, my guy? Yeah, man. Malik, man, been around for a minute if you don't know. What's up, man? man? What's up, bro? Real shit, what's going on, Leaker? Right, brother. We, we with the brothers, man. Be you with us, man. know, man. Straight up. Be like us, man. Pretty old my real brothers, man. Pretty general, man. All day. Yeah. All day, man. Be my guy. The look, the sound, the way you carry yourself. I look at all that, cause all that's gonna count as an artist, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's a lot of them that got it, you know what I'm saying? But one person that stick out is, is, is um, B Miles, you feel what I'm saying? He's, he, he's, he's separating himself. And I like what he's doing, you feel what I'm saying? He's, the views is looking good, he, um, he doing shows, he's consistently working. Him and his team, they doing a great job. So I, uh, yeah, B Miles, B Miles is a, is a great artist. That's, that's one person I can see that can blow. And a, and a lot of bitches like that little nigga on the low. A lot of bitches like that little nigga because, like, I go somewhere 
And because one thing about me, when I go somewhere, I always bring up artists. Like, uh, like from somewhere, I bring up artists. I talk about artists and shit like that to people. And when I bring that little nigga up and I'm around bitches, I play his music. They be like, oh, I heard of that little nigga. He hot. I heard of him. My little sister be playing him. And that's just different, man. That's just different, man. So, yeah, that's one person I can see growing, like, taking off. Yeah, be mine. Hey, Brown. Delaware most wanted. Delaware most wanted. <laughs> I'm sly guy, guy right here, man. I used to bust his ass when I was a young boy. Let me tell you that. I bet he won't tell y'all that. Let me tell you that. I bet he won't tell y'all that. Bust his ass when I was around to such a mecca, man. I'm over here at the mecca with my little bro. Hey, yo. I used to bust his ass, right? Shit. Yeah. Shit. I'm the reason why. Why do these niggas want to do this right here, man? Look, coach, I just gave it up. I gave it up after. I ain't going to talk about my, uh, high, my high school career. They weren't trying to let me. They weren't trying to let me rock out in high school like that. Yeah, great. That but they knew all this. It's about me like around Stormin's. You saying Storm the Classic and all that. Yeah, they know Fly Guy, man. That was before Fly Guy, for real. I didn't walk front. I was just little Jai then. Yo, yo, God. Hello, bro. Know what's up, man? But new music on the way. As y'all know, I still do that too. Very well. Um, 727-18. Pay attention, bitch, too. I've been away for a minute, man. Been like a good. Five plus, I'm going, I ain't gonna put an exact number. It's been like five plus since they heard me on a solo project, but you know. Before that, I had the uh, Real Lax with Chuck Fiji. Shout out my brother, Chuck Fiji. DCB the gang, man. Different cloth boy shit, I'm on my way. And shout out to my little brother, don't be scared to be a, it's, yo. It's my little brother, before all the rap shit, before music, this really my little brother. Blood wouldn't make us close at all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Talk to him, bro. Talk to him. They want to know some shit. Talk to him, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't get the fifth. Yesterday, came me. You know how we get down, nigga. We already know how we doing. We coming. It's early. I started when I was 15. I've been doing this shit. I got locked up. Now it's writing this shit. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I just put my problems and most of that shit in there and shit. And I came home, I was like, I gotta turn up because I know I was better than half of these niggas. And I had niggas in jail rapping, so I knew I could do it. You feel me? I was giving niggas hope, so you feel me? I just Yo, came home and did my thing. While I'm here, I seen little homie perform at the last showcase. Yeah. Go ahead. Definitely turned up, man. Definitely turned up, so I definitely love seeing the young niggas doing their thing, man. Right now, man. Coming up. Yeah, shit, man. And the game are way, way more different than when I was his age. I've been doing this shit for how old are you? I'm 18. I've been doing that shit probably since I was, what? 14, 15. That's what I'm saying. So, I know what's going on, man. And it's a platform for the young niggas to come up now. So just stay consistent on the work. I just dropped a video not too long ago. I've been, I've been doing so much shit, but before the summer end, you feel me? I'm gonna do some, something real big and shit. But I really wasn't gonna say nothing about it, but yeah, you feel me? I'm gonna do some shit. I got some shit coming through right now. I looked up at Meek for real, for real. Okay. For me, that's who I was really listening to because, for me, Meek and T Grizzly, because yeah, me and T Grizzly was in the same situation. We're getting a diamond and shit. So I'll be feeling what he be saying and shit. So yeah, mainly T Grizzly though, but but them two in the middle. I brag with Millsy. Shout out Millsy. You feel me? I brag with me and, me and Sav just dropped son. You feel me? Me and Sav. Shout out Sav. Souls. The Keys Yard Souls. Well, the real suits on the ground, follow him on the ground, we forgot he changed his name and shit. Uh, who else I've been doing shit with? It's mainly music that I do shit with. That's my music. You feel me? I do it with mainly my niggas. Uh, I did it with Ali Lee, Free Ali Lee, you feel me? Uh, I ain't really do songs with my little cousin, but shout out Fizz, though. Shout out Kai Fizz. Shout out 30 for Carrie, you feel me? That's my brother. We turning up at Vinny during the night. See who you. When you turning it up, you feel me? You got everybody in there feeling your energy and everybody, you feel me? Vibing with you and shit, you feel me? Yeah, that should be fun though. Follow me on the gram at L Bucks, L B U C K Z, L Bucks, something simple. You feel me? Uh, that's really all I got right now. Uh, I don't really, I don't really got the, the YouTube channel, but you can follow me, my camera man because we do this shit together, we work together, you feel me? Uh, subscribe him on YouTube at J Times TV, you feel me? Subscribe him. Yeah, just get with me, you feel me?
Okay. King of the fifth, MGS Entertainment, you feel me? And shout out to Move Minutes because he, you feel me, he really made this shit possible for me. Gave me the hope and the strength, you feel me? Because without, without him, I wouldn't have had no show for real, for real. I had all my shoes from him, and, you feel me? Yeah, I love you, bro. And shout out Move Minutes, Delaware Most Wanted, and this L Bucks from DH Point of View, you feel me? Shout out to Gus. I'm a Koye Parker. Um, from the west side, I'm trying to woman's thing right here. Um, I go to Caravel, I just graduated. Um, yeah, that's really, that's, that's really good for me. We played a one and a two. And this gym right here, uh, I was a young boy. Um, I used to have a little court in my, court in my um, crib and everything. You know, so you know how you always gotta start small and come to the big, so. I was around about three or four, my first time coming in here. And um, I, I just never stopped picking up that ball. Every day I just, I just wanted to eat. And one day I was like, yo, like this is really something I really want to do. You know what I mean? I gotta. I feel like this is this is where I can, you know, get my family out. Uh, my favorite player in the whole world is Kobe. Um, his work ethic is crazy. Um, I just like the way like, he just gritty. Like he's got that. He got he got that fire to him. Like I'm not gonna let you beat me. Kind of time. You know, I like that. You know, he's real, you know, real aggressive. Uh, I practice his moves all the time. Even my jersey number, I wear 24. So everybody knows me by 24 because I've been wearing that jersey since like third grade. So, um, but he's my favorite uh, right now since he got the lead. My favorite point guard. I like Carpenter. Uh, I, I like the way he just messed up. You know, he's a great guard overall. But, yeah, those are like my two main players I look up to. That's a good question. Um, I think I could fit somewhere like maybe like uh, the Knicks. Okay. Nets, okay. like that, you know what I'm saying? So you're trying to be a star. Yeah, somewhere like, you know, it's not a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's not too many people, like, not too many guys who really rock out on them teams. So I feel like, you know, I got only you. way only way you're really going to be seen is if is if you go somewhere and you turn up for your team. Like, I wouldn't want to go to no Golden State, you know what I'm saying? No, nothing like that. You know, all those guys are, you know, they all-stars, four all-stars right. starting lineup. So, you, would, you would definitely go there, you just... Oh, yeah, yeah, I would go any, any, any place. Prefer, yeah, if yeah prefer, if I had yeah. a choice to pick... Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. go somewhere like that. So um So you can shine. Right. Like like for instance, like like with Ben, Ben, you know what I'm saying, he in Philly. Yeah. And you you should really think about it, it's really before he came, there's nobody in Philly who really right. he, he just go for thirties and forties every right, game. Right, 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 right. So what I'm saying he he was in the right circumstances right at the right time. So, so he can uh, show his talent. Right, 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 right. Like I said, but I'm not I'm not ducking no work though. I'll go anywhere. You know I got what you. I mean? I got uh, we got to the semis. We lost to St. E's. Um oh, St. E's won it. Yeah, so, yeah. And we last year we went to the championship last year, we lost to Smyrna. Okay, okay. Both well, back and back back years we lost to the champions, so I mean, you can't really get mad if we lost to the champions. I got you. Um, both games were winnable, you know what I mean? We just you know some things, you know, some things just happen. You know, some things just happen. You know what I mean? You can't you can't, you know, go back on it and, you know, complain about it. We just gotta we just gotta focus and just keep keep moving, you know. Everything every everything's a learning process. So uh to me, at, us, you know, losing or whatever, it's a learning process. You know? I got so, you. And that day, that same day, late light, I was in the gym. I can't go down with my head down. I can't do nothing. I gotta. So I just gotta, I gotta keep moving. I mean, I guess you say close to home, but I want to be like across the country. Somewhere. Yeah, I got you. Unless, unless I know that's a great fit. I got you. you know what I mean, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to like go, you know, thousand miles away. I want to be, I want to be at least close enough where my family can come see me. But I want to be like 20 minutes from home type. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? You. Yeah, that's really, that's really how everything, how I want my college thing to go. I got you. Right, but well, the best fit, the best fit. At call me underscore cool Twitter, call me underscore cool Snap, call me underscore cool. All right, that's all it is, man. Next, next NBA star right here. <laughs> all right, man, it's my guy. You already been here bro. with me. Ben told him he was gonna be the shit. Day man. one. Day one. Ben told him he was gonna be the shit. We can't tell him I ain't telling you that. My guy, Delaware most wanted, man. Right. Shout out to my guy, Move Minutes, man. I'm here with Delaware's most wanted, man. We coming heavy. I'm saying we here. It's a Koye Parker from DH point of view. Yes. This is Stella Moody. I'm originally from the West Side. Everybody call me my mom or uh, the mayor. Um, the West Side is the best side. That's what I can say. And um, uh, I've been working here since I was 14. I'm now, I ain't gonna tell you my age, but I'm in my. I, I'm in. I say 50. Yeah, it has changed a whole lot. Um, like we we should have more programs for the kids, but we're, they trying. But um, they just change the community hours, and people think it's a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing because we open later for the weekends for the kids to have somewhere to go. It's, this is the safe haven for the kids, and we want we wanted them to be here 
at night so they wouldn't be out on the streets. And we close early during the weekend so they can have somewhere to go on the weekend. But um, this is the best center in, in the whole city of Wilmington. It's West in the city. And um, I just wish it'd be more and more programs, like they said, bring more activities so we can have more fun in here. But we got the right people, so we got a nice mayor. We got a new director. Just hoping things get better, a little bit more better. And you'll find me on Facebook, too, because I do a lot of stuff, not only with the center on weekends, I do a lot of stuff with Faith City. And what Faith City does is try to get the kids off the corners, too. They got gospel artists coming. They're going to have rap artists. I'm hoping I can talk to my son right there. So he could come and do some things. And we could bring more programs like that here, too. That would help the kids, too, because that's what they love. They love rap music. And we used to have parties here. Yeah. We used to have parties here on the weekend. And it was packed. You know? And we had people that look out for people. That's why I'm not giving up. I've been here all my life, and I'm not going nowhere. Until God take me from here. But until then, I want to do better. I want to do more for our kids. We can do more. They are dying out here in the streets. Let's do more for these kids and stop these killings because we can. We we need to, we got to show them that we love them. We do love them. We don't want gangs to love our kids. We want us to love our kids. And like I said, the more this stay open, the more the center can be. But if you're trying to close up a community center, where are they going to go? We're going to have dead bodies all out here. We don't want that. No. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Shout out to Luke Minutes, uh, Delaware's most wanted talent. Bring it here. Keep it here. And let's do things for him. In the name of Jesus. My name is Teresa Harris. Better known as Pebbles. Some people used to call me Uncle Pebbles. Um, I'm West Side Till I Die. Um, I just finished my first book. The title of my book is My Childhood, My Adulthood, My Addiction, Me. That's the title. And I've named and claimed in the name of Jesus for it to be a bestseller. One day, Oprah is going to have the privilege of meeting me. And me, Tyler Perry, and his entourage are going to get together. It's going to be like Cameron X. Tyler Perry, why can't I? And check this out. I have a fly that I just made up. And it says, come one, come all. My first book is finished, and I want to start my second one next week. The title is, We Are West Side Till We Die. I told my publisher I wanted to name it, The Motherfucking West Side. But he said, nah, Ped, we ain't going to do that. And if you are originally from the West Side, call me, 444-7510. Come and be a part of saving our children's lives. If they read about the people we used to be, they may stop the dumb stuff. I also have three other books that I'm going to write. Big God's Will. One of them is Stolen Innocence. Because when children are abused at such a tender age, their innocence is stolen. It happened to me. I didn't tell nobody. But God kept me here to save these children. One day I'm going to have an office in this building where little kids can come in and say, Miss Pebbles. He touched my private part, and I can help that child so she won't, he or she won't have to go through what I went through. Because I smoked crack for 32 and a half years trying to get away the pain. Mm -hmm. But see, I have to forgive my molesters mm -hmm. in order to move on. Another one of my books, This Man's Legacy. Another one, This Woman's Legacy. And I'm gonna keep on, and I'm gonna keep on, and I'm gonna keep. Cause God chose me before my mother, before my mother had me. He wants to use me. I'm gonna leave y'all with this. I have one breast and eight toes. They're getting ready to remove another one, but I'm still here. Let somebody chase me. I bet I can climb a fence, and hop a fence, and climb a tree. You know what I'm saying? Like we west side till we die. I want to give a shout out to whoever he said the first time in Delaware's most wanted. I love you. My name is Nair, and shout out to Delaware most talented. My name is Aaron. Shout out to Delaware most talented. My name is Amon. Shout out to basketball. <laughs> the community center is the best. This is where. Everybody yeah. do everything that's not in violence or anything. We come in here, have fun, challenge people to basketball, and just have fun. But, but none of y'all can beat me, so it don't even matter. Hey, hey, hey Mark, man, Williams. I am from right here on the west side, 5th and Madison. 
born and raised, you know, my whole life. I never actually lived on Fifth and Madison. I lived a couple of blocks up on 10th Street. But you know, that's where it's at for me, so yeah, there it is. Yeah, I actually play a big part, man, these young boys' lives. I, I started working here about two years ago, so I'm here now. I mean, just trying to get back and, you know, let them know it's more to what they see every day. Which basically, when you go outside these doors, you see the streets. You know what I'm saying? It's way more than that. I've been to college. I mean, I went to college in California, and I went to I went to West Virginia. So I'm just trying to let them know, man, it's a whole different part of life that you can get through sports or through dance or, I mean, whatever you like, culinary, uh, barber school, you know what I mean? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's other things they can do and not just be stuck here. Now, well, we actually, we had a film class here, but the guy just... He was older guy, so he just ended up retiring. So, you know I mean, that's something you might want to do. We probably can get would, something rolling for you, you know what I'm saying? I, I would and love teach to these young boys how to, you know, young boys and girls how to yeah. work the camera. Yeah, I, I play ball in college. Out here? I mean, yeah, here and, and yeah. Both, well, um, yeah. What high school did you play? I went to Glasgow, won the state championship in like 03. Okay. Yeah, okay, me and my okay. man Love, Mark Eggerson, um, okay. Sean Hammond, Kyle Nelson. Uh, number of us man there's a number of us on there I'll just to name a few though today it's i'm not going to say it's not hard the ones that want to be on track will stay on track you know what i'm saying my goal is to reach the ones that want to be reached the ones that don't want to be reached i still give them some good words but you know it's like i ain't going you can't keep reaching 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 then lose the ones that want to be reached so you know what I'm saying? i still give them good words like can't no young boy or female ever say I told them anything wrong, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm just trying to reach the ones that want to be reached. And, you know, it's every day out here, somebody dying or somebody getting shot. So, so they see the consequences, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it, it was basically the same way, not as rough because we wasn't doing it at a young age. I mean, we was fighting a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Mm. If we got beat up, then you got beat up, you know what I'm saying? Try again next time. It wasn't no extra egos or extra... Oh, we can't get beat up now. They told us we're going to fight. And if you get beat up, then you get beat up. That's, that's what it is. What, it is. Right. what, what kind of rap? Yeah, make me up one right quick. Let me see. <laughs> no cussing in it. See that? See that? I know you couldn't do it. You got to do it. Instagram is franchise, F R A N N underscore C H I S C. And uh, Facebook, Mark Williams. You know what I mean? You can catch me on it. We got Corey Wallace in here from over on the east side. He's one of the best football players to ever come through the city. You know what I'm saying? So we got him on the basketball, on the football side. Me, one of the best ball players to ever come through the city also. We got me on the basketball side. So it's like, you're going, you're going to get what you're looking for coming here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to Mook Menace, man. Delaware's most one of hard working dude, man. It's very hard to keep working the way he works. And other artists work here with not too many people support them. You know what I'm saying? So you got to take your hat off them dudes. Like me, I play ball. Everybody support the ball player. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't support the rapper. Everybody don't support the singer. So it's, I, I take my hat off to them dudes, man. I keep working, working, working without the support system. Are you videoing me? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> August 11th on a Saturday, we'll be having a dedication for the Furlan Trotter dedication park plaza we're asking for vendors we have an open mic we're looking for people just to come on out it's free we have free food uh, we have art we have prizes just come out and just have such a good time enjoy your journey that's August 11th from 12 noon until 4 o'clock hope to see you there and we have not rapping and what's your name Momo <laughs> Mook Menes is gonna rap. <laughs> he gonna tear the place up. What's your name? Open mic. My name is Miss Peak. Shout out to Moose, <laughs> Delaware. Great talent we got here. That's right. Mo, he's gonna rap it, rap it, wrap it up, Mo. You got right. it. Trying to talk to him, having community days, having all this stuff. No, let's do a movie where we showing him, we teaching him. So let's. You want to watch a movie? You like watching movies? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna show you this this way. Oh, you know what I mean? It so sounds like they already had their interview, right? <laughs> My name is Ugundi Jacobs. I'm the executive director of Winnipeg's Anderson Community Center. Okay. How long have you been here, and what 
is your role here? Uh, I've been here since March of 2016. Uh, I applied for this job three occasions. I was denied the first two occasions. After that, it made me recognize that I needed to go back to school, earn a formal education, touch up on some areas that will help me benefit being the leader of this organization. And because of it, on my third attempt, I was successfully selected as the next executive director. I've been in this post since March of 2016, and I'm enjoying this wonderful opportunity to have some impact in the lives of so many youth, adults, and seniors. This is the city's only owned and operated community center. It's free and open to the public. We're open <laughs> six days a week, uh, Monday through Saturday. Uh, we're having a Camp Hope starting July the 2nd. And what we do here is we, we mold scholars and, Olympic, and Olympians. That's our mission, holistically to develop youth into productive adults. That's what we do. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a free community center. It's open to the public ages six years old and up. Okay, cool. uh, we do have a membership process. It's a simple one-page application. You fill out the application. Uh, that's pretty much for us to have a, uh, a, a some background information on who's in the building uh, in the event of an emergency or, uh, or, or incident. Uh, we'll be able to assist those individuals. Uh, we have, this is a, uh, I wouldn't even say a diamond in a rough because the Mecca, as is also known, has been here since 1972. We have all the amenities any community center or private organization uh, dream of. Uh, we have a full-size gym, full-size Olympic pool, game room, boxing facility, fitness facility, arts and craft room, an adult center, a kitchen, uh, a library, computer lab. If you name it, we cover all bases here. So what we're continuing to do moving forward is to provide quality programming, activities, and events. Again, you got me Jacobs, Executive Director of William X. Anderson Community Center, born and raised there in Wilmington, Delaware, as the executive director of Wilmix Anderson Community Center, I welcome and invite all of you out there to come over and partner, provide some volunteerism, uh, because we need all hands on deck. Uh, it's not about me, it's what we can do as together as a community. I see Because oh. they don't think we get they don't think we can go at them. Until it happens. They like, yo, they really not playing down here. Cause mm -hmm. they wanna give us that hey, money, man, bro. You sharing. They wanna keep give going. us that money, bro. Oh, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna break it's gonna break through. Me a burger, it's gonna break through, man. But you know this is the now fifth man if y'all don't know, man. We on fifth. Right Come now, on now, left my charger. Legendary sir. shit, man. This is my guy. Crazy. We got MySpace yeah, pictures, so you know what that <laughs> means. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, we slept in the same crib. We did all that, man. Yeah, my guys, man. Right. Right. Seriously. No. Don't run away from me. So who are you and where are you from? The narrow fifth, west side of Wilmington, Fish Street. Um, I'm Monroe Mattis, like, almost like three, three years ago. I mean, it was with my boy. My boy, he got killed in the studio, Young Cool. Like, a lot of people probably remember him or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? And he used to always bring me there. I just sit in there and look at people, you know, do their sessions and whatnot. I ain't there. I wasn't there a rapper. I grew up, you know, listening to Mook rapping and shit. Mook or Jenno, those are the only rappers I knew. And then, you feel what I'm saying? I, that shit happened with him. Once I came from jail, I figured out, you know what I mean? I might as well start rapping. Man, that's how, my, that's how I do this shit. The history sets, man. The history sets. Because I don't think if that, if that wouldn't have happened, I wouldn't have been rapping. There ain't no reason for it. Because like, I was banking on, I'm banking on Mook. You know what I mean? I was always banking on niggas from my hood to like make that shit. Like, my songs be like like reality. Like, Say if I think about something I went through like five years ago, I'm writing it down. You know what I'm saying? Or what I'm going through right now. Like, got another kid on the way. You know what I mean? Beat, mama, drama, all that extra shit. Like, 
All you gotta do is put that into, you know, into raps and shit like that. Somebody and that, that's how I do it. Like, do you write before the beat or you find a beat and then you write to it? Uh, it's half and half. It's half and half. Because there's been times where I had something written to this and then when I put it to that, it, it, it shit just come together. Like, Home of the Yellow Tape. Okay. Yeah, that's my first Matter one. Fact, hosted, I, I, hosted by DJ Brand. Um, I work with a lot of people. Uh, it's uh, on that one, I think I got 12 tracks on there. How many on the new one? I work with the new one, only eight. Okay. Like, yeah, I, I shortened it up. Like, okay. Um, I did features with Sap. Uh, I'm fucking. Who else I work with before? I got some new shit coming. Paulie De Niro. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. It's a lot of motherfuckers I work with. Um, That's dope. Ant, Ant from over uh, North Side from 24th Street. Okay. Uh, Lad from 20th Street. Oh, let me come over in the shade. All right, no problem. That motherfucking son. Nigga. Yeah, I'm for the interview right now. <coughs> Not for a job. <coughs> <laughs> Move around the camera. Out. Yeah, as far as that, like, I go off a lot of shit that I've seen before. So, like, say if I've seen some crazy shit, like, two years ago, when I do a video, I'm going to reiterate that. Like, I'm going to just think about that and put it right into Because, like, say if another person, they ain't seen what I see, they probably heard about it or whatever. You know what I mean? So, whatever i seen, I'll put that into a video. Yeah, Denaro Fifth on Instagram. Same on, um, yeah, on Twitter, it's Denaro Fifth. Facebook is Denaro Fifth, but the Fifth is actually spelled out. SoundCloud, all that. I don't really be on there, but I got SoundCloud. I got a channel on YouTube. What's the name? What's that? Got a lot of videos. It's called the Nero, the Nero Fifth. Okay, everything's that, in my Nero channel. Fifth. Yeah. All right, that's I'm all it keeping is. It that. Well, and I know. definitely work with a lot of people, like especially niggas from Philly and you know what I mean, Dark Low, Ab, like you know what I mean. I got a lot of shit on the way, like O'Malley, Neef. Shout out Mook Menace, man, bringing this shit together. Shout out Mook Menace, Delaware Most Wanted, man. Real shit. This is the Nero Fifth from DH Point of View. Now I'm because they trying to stop the violence. Oh, I got you. It was a full court in there. Yeah, hell yeah, two courts. That shit only made it worse, though. It used to be two courts right here. There's some courts down there. You still know to Cincinnati. Yeah, I do. They had two courts right there. MJ broke his motherfucking wrist right there. He banged it so hard. Well, what we doing with the Cincinnati, bro? Now they're about one quarter over that motherfucker. Damn, we was hot. That was a Cincinnati. Man, we was in Cincinnati playing against OJ Mayo. Here, Nelson we were, and all them type like blue lights over here. Remember uh, uh, Tyreek Evans used to play motherfuckers down here? Yeah. Like, the all nigga, the uh, we used to play the nigga Rondé. Because he played for Chester High. Chester High, you always used to play. Fucking, there a lot of them niggas, man. We played against some shit, man. We played against some shit. We did some shit out here. He set me up. He set me up, dog. Because you've been making them shots all day. Come on, bitch. Uh, I'm here, bro. I'm here. 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 I'm